welcome to what John is thinking about today. Um, we're going to be cooking something, so please stay tuned and see what we're cooking. And please hit the like button if you don't mind. Give it a big old smash. Not too hard, just tappy tappy. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Hello, today we're going to make some barbecue chicken. We have got some boneless chicken breast with red meat. Um, got it from Walmart. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this open, rinse it in cold water, and we're going to grill it. It's mostly right now, the 250 is very close. We're going to cut some of this fat off right here. You can see it on the back of this be prepared and we'll be right back so basically when you're preparing the chicken you just rinse it off in cold water because you don't want it to start cooking in the heat and we just cut off the fat that was dangling you always get fat and any red spots like this see how it's kind of reddish I don't like that so I always cut them off and I don't care if it says boneless or not I always end up finding one bone or a piece of a bone or something super hard so I always cut that out to you. I got them all rinsed off and I put them in the pot drain for a second. I'm gonna go per per my grill and then I will be back when we're about to put them on. Okay pit boss is at 250 is what I have it set. It's actually 210. Um, that's good. We don't want to cook too fast. I might turn it down 225 because this chicken's gonna be low and slow. Um, I got it on there now. My 850 pit boss cooks a little hot right here, so in this way versus this way. So I'm going to put the fatter pieces right here in the middle so they'll cook a little seitan basically. And what we're going to do is season them with boss champion chicken got the garlic onion and lemon juice i kind of like it we're just gonna do this um this is what my friend has taught me to do uh chris uh my friend chris prefer uh basically what he taught me to do is we caught a burnout when we had charcoal grills uh, what we would do is we would get the coals nice and hard and start cooking. Then we would just cook food until the coals went cold or couldn't cook anymore. And we called it a burnout because you would cook until basically the coals were burnt out. Put it over and put some more seasoning. And that way you have food all week. So that's what we're doing here. And I'm also going at the same time some of the deli and onions be batters from Sam Choice got these at Walmart I really like these these will be good for the lunches during the week too or maybe dinner tonight not sure we'll eat chicken or that so I'm gonna open this up put it on the grill and I'll be right back so there's six per box um, normally they would look a little redder but I've had them in the fridge for a couple days and it's either cook them or throw them out, so that's why they're getting cooked. So that's it. We'll be back after a while and check them and see how they're doing. Now these are going to cook a little faster than them. I did not add any seasoning to this because they're already seasoned and stuff. So you know, that's that. So, alrighty. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Or let me in a little bit. We uh, checking on these, see how they're doing. Cook very hot for some reason. 
thing I don't like about this. Then we're gonna flip our chicken. I like to use this so it doesn't pull any meat out of it. Dry it out. put some Kennedy sweet and smoke on it to give a little flavor. What I do is just dab it on there and just spread it around. That's what it looks like. So we'll be back and let it cook in. Well, it is done. We uh, got the chicken already. Hamburgers look really good. Um, this is what John was cooking chicken and the day onion hamburgers. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. And remember to hit the like, share, and have a wonderful day.